You think I want to tell you guys what I told Golovkin. I walked over to him. I said, whatever anybody's ever said about you, you're better than that. In all my years of boxing, and I've been a long time, he's the best 160-pounder I've ever seen. I honestly felt Gil could take him 12 rounds. He has great movement. He, he engaged him. But Golovkin is just too good. He's got all the tools. He's got all the moves. All the power. And, and he's got a style that nobody will beat him at 160. Never seen, never seen a, a power. No, he's the best 160. I've been boxing since 1970. Here is the best 160 new, pounder I've seen. Our new publisher, right. for sure. <laughs> Would you like the, the way that Dana fought? I mean, he went right at him, which is fun for us to watch. But yes, I, I thought way? that's the only way for to to engage Golovkin and, and show him something that everybody else is afraid to show. Him. And I and I said that he might pay the price for that style. Of representing Daniel, um, when we went to Germany and won our first two world titles and been together since. And to you, Daniel, no matter what happened tonight, I'm proud of you. You're uh, one hell of a fighter. And you came to fight. I really thought Daniel um, would take him to, this, to a decision. Um, I thought that Daniel, being a violent puncher, would give Golovkin um, a lot of trouble. And as you saw it, and I, I, don't, I don't remember now, I'm blanked out myself, second or third round, when Daniel really moved as well as he can move, he started throwing combinations. And I'm not sure he didn't land one on Golovkin before Golovkin landed one on, on Daniel. But Daniel's a, a true champion, and he, he has Nothing to be ashamed of. I'm telling you, I've, I've been with enough fighters. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, he's just a good, a good guy, a good guy, and a real good fighter. And probably, right now, the number two fighter at 160. Golovkin is number one. You can't take anything away from him. Um, he's got a very tough style to beat. I thought Daniel and Graham Shaw put together a game plan that could beat Golovkin. And I think one of the only ways to beat Golovkin, although you you take your chances, is to engage him. And certainly not to fight defensively and wait in a corner to get knocked out. So I want to introduce to you um, a great a great person, great person, more much more important than being a great fighter, because your fighting career ends at some point but you as a person continues throughout your life. So I'd like to present to you Daniel Gill.